And hey, welcome back, Cooper fans. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of Madden 12 and the Bourbon City Coopers franchise in year three. And we are battling back with the record up to five and three now with our win last week against the Denver Broncos. This week, we get a home game against the Minnesota Vikings, and they seem to be struggling, which makes me kind of wonder if they've got injuries going on. And I'm going to go to the injury report. We've got a couple of guys who are out. Jarrell Austin, obviously, on IR and Laquan Dixon. But let's go check out the, the Vikings here. And two other wide receivers are out right now. Julian Vaughn and Jerry Richmond. And then they lost their outside linebacker, Titus Brown, for the season. So a little bit of injury bug for everybody going around. With that said, we're going to go into this game, try to pick up a W, get to 6-3, and three, and control our division. It is spicing up a little bit, but as always, if you're enjoying the series, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave me some comments. You all did some great. I, I really loved like, your all's like, backseat play calling where you told me to try to run some things. I'm going to try to do that this week, and we'll see if it works against the Vikings. If not, I'm going to blame you for everything, but we'll, until we try it, we won't know. So let's get into the game. Let's go, Coops. Oh man, epic cornhole going on. Three points. You just love to see it. It always makes me happy. Cooper Crazy's in effect today. Let's see if they have an outstanding effect on Bourbon City today as we try to pave the trail back to the playoffs. And the Crazies are going to cheer them onto the field. So much alliteration, it brings a tear to my eye. All right, we won the toss, and we will defer the ball till the second half. So we're going to kick it off to the Vikings and see if we can come out here and take it over. Looks like there's some fog rolling in off the Ohio River here. And Kamani Joseph. Oh, Kamani Joseph just got plowed, and P.J. Strong had to come up and make the tackle there. Um, I was wanting to brag about him. Kristen Ponder, he's lit us up, but it looks like he's having a bad season this year. Uh, he, uh, he may have reached his peak, which happened in real life as well. Still been toying with the idea of booting up a NCAA 14 revamped and going with that. Uh, we'll have to see. Anderson trying to get through here. Ponder's got all day to run, and we're going to go up and hit him, and he'll get a couple of yards. We look at the Vikings offense here. Sidney Rice and Pervy Harvin, so they're not hurt too much. They've obviously got Adrian Peterson and Kyle Rudolph out there. Anytime you got Adrian Peterson in the backfield, you just got to be careful. They're going to hand it off to him there. P.J. Strong's going to try to pull him down, but he's going to get pulled along for about nine yards and the first down. Under, back, all day to throw. We hit him in the back, but that one's going to sell out of bounds. So it looks like we got a little touch on him, and that will throw the ball awry. We look at the Cooper defense. Marcus Doolittle, Antoine Bess out there, Deshaun Jewett, Brandon Spikes, and A.C. Cobbs, three of the biggest fighters in the NFL. Christian Ponder. I've touched down seven interceptions. He's usually like pretty uh, non uh, bad, and we'll hit him there and knock the ball loose. Third and long now. Third and 10. Pressure coming, and we're going to get to him, and that's Holloway. Let's freaking go. The play worked out. We backed AC Cobbs out of the line, and Darian Holloway, the rookie out of Texas State, getting the sack. And we will take the ball over here at the start. You love to see the youngsters get involved. And they especially love them when they're from Texas State. Go Bobcats. Let's see if Carter can get a block. He does get one. Oh, he tried to spin move. They're going to pull him down. Look like a face mask. No call, no flag, no hanky on the play. We'll start at the... Didn't get to see, but Connor Waysom coming out. He's trying to even that up. Nine touchdowns, ten interceptions. He is 50%. That is an improvement over Stevie Myers. First and ten. We'll start at the 41. And it's a handoff to Nico Carter. Nico Carter is through, and that's good for the first down. Good tough run by Nico Carter. He's been getting more reps. First and ten. Connor Waysom. No glass slides over. Fakes the handoff. That's a quick throw. We'll hit Tyree Baltimore, and they're inside the 30. That's good for 18 yards in the first down. Tyree Baltimore really been picking it up. Tyree Mays, not so much. Going to have to make some decisions about him. He just can't get free on any of his plays. First and 10 here. Power handoff. Nico Carter again. He might get a yard or so. 
You look at the Cooper's offense, Tyree Baltimore, Kyrie Mays out there on the edges, Shakir Diggs, fullback, Algernon McDonald, and then Jeremy Heintzman. All right, we're going to try one of the play calls you all have asked for. A little screen pass, and Tyree Baltimore gets eight up, and he's going to lose yards. Just shed the block on that one. The Vikings defense sniffed it out. Kevin Williams, Jared Allen, Chad Greenway, uh, Ray Edwards, and Logan Morris. I don't know a lot of those names, to be honest with you. Third and 12 here. Over the middle, there's Kyrie Mays. He'll get some yardage. It may get us in field goal range. We may have to settle for that here at the start. 39 yards. Oh, it's not a good kick. Come on, Gibson. Can he get it there? He does. All right. I was a little worried. Three nothing. The Coopers lead the Vikings here. And yeah, that was that was a little hectic there. I thought uh, I didn't put enough power on it. It it just kind of went cattywampus. But we'll kick off here with the lead at home. Home crowd. Very excited about that. Here in this night game, it's always good. We're probably on TV. Oh, a little hurdle there. Kamani Joseph can't bring him down, but he'll push him out of bounds. They get a big return. They'll start at the almost 40, 37-yard line. First and 10. They're going to hand off. Anderson's on him. There's an injury timeout. We didn't get to see Vikings at the very bottom. Bears, Lions, and Packers all up. Honestly, I have no idea who was injured on that play. I think it was one of our players. Antoine Best knocks that one down. Percy Harvin going for it. Good coverage there. Great, great. Stayed right on it. So the injury was P.J. Strong, our linebacker. It was a neck injury, so I'm going to go ahead and sub uh, Wyatt Trickett in for him because there's no sense of risking that. Uh oh this one could be an interception. Bess should have had that. Oh, Bess or Kevin Ramsey, either one should have come down with it, but it is fourth down. Terrible pass from Ponder there. And it's a chance for us to get the ball back with 351 in the first. Go Carter. We tried to bring it back. He runs into resistance. It will start at the 27. First and 10. The handoff to Algernon McDonald. He's up the middle. He'll pick up seven or so. Second and third. Second and three, not second and third. They're going to toss in the outside. Algernon McDonald trying to turn. He's not going to do it. He'll lose three on that, and that's going to make it third and long. Punching them up here in the middle, third and six. We'll dump it over to Najee Brandon. He's going to get the first down. The rookie delivers again. And Najee Brand out of Notre Dame has a promising career here. Just enough time. And the offensive line is playing well today. That gave him time to do that for Brand to actually catch it and turn and get the first down. We'll go first and ten. And waste some of the trouble, and he's going to get sacked and lose 10 on the play. Coverage was immaculate on that one. Algernon McDonald in the backfield. He's going to take this one. He's going to run into some resistance. He'll get pulled down. He won't get anything. So it's going to be third and extremely long here. Third and 20. Connor. Oh, he was going deep, and he just couldn't get the ball off. And we'll be forced to punt here with 46 seconds left in the first. Brendan Bangley out to launch this one. Pretty deep. You see Harvin going to bring it back. We'll bring him down close to the 35. First to 10, they send Harvin and Rice over to the right side. They're going to hand off. He's going to get up the middle. Big hit there by Kevin Ramsey. It's still good for five yards. Empty backfield for Christian Ponder here. Second and five. They will snap the ball. Pressure coming. They'll hit him, and it's going to run out time. And it'll be third and two when we come back here in the second quarter. Cooper's leading here. Three, nothing. And it's going to be, oh, and he's going to get through again. Adrian, Adrian Peterson's always just worth so many first downs. You just can't stop him. We don't want him to get too hot, though. 
First and 10. They're going to go to him again. Brandon Spikes couldn't bring him out, but Marcus Doolittle will help drag him down. He'll still get two. So more positive yardage on the carry. Second and eight. Peterson in the backfield with Ponder. He's got all day. He's going to run. God, we were so bad to react to that. First down for Ponder. I forgot he could scramble. I didn't even think about putting a QB uh, watcher on him. First and 10 here. Pressure coming. He got the ball. It's knocked down. And that was Marcus Doolittle on the coverage. Second and 10. Pressure coming. Oh, and AC Tobbs is going to get the ponder that time. Pushed the center out of the way and pulls him down. That was a man play there. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my heavens. Just throws him down and then just, you're mine. He demolished their center, O'Hara there, number 60. Third and 12 here. Oh, they hit the guy over the middle, and they're going to get the first down. Injury timeout, a Viking this time. He's reaching for his knee. That's not good. First and 10. Pressure. Oh, my God. Kevin Ramsey out of Oklahoma blitzes in there and blows up Ponder on the play. A loss of four with the sack. Just, oh, oh my. That's, I've not seen that much energy out of that young man the whole time he's been on the team. They get a 14 here. They snap it quickly. They're going to run it. And Peterson's going to pick up a lot of yardage and make it third and short now. Third and five. Ponder all day to throw, and he hits him in the back of the end zone, and I don't know. They're saying no, so they might have to settle for a field goal here. And they will exactly. He had him. He had the man beat. The ball was just too far up. He couldn't bring it down. And the field goal is good. It's going to be tied up here with 531 left till half. Deep kickoff here, Nico Carter. Nico around the edge. Nico, and he gets pushed out of bounds near the 35. First and 10. End off the Dontrell Reeve, and he'll get drug up. Three yards, though. Second and seven. Tyree Baltimore is going to go in motion. They fake the handoff to him. Oh, my God. Connor Waysom couldn't get that ball off either. Their defense has been all over him today. It's been the past few weeks. We've just not been able to make football plays. There's a play. There's Kyrie Mays. Good move up across midfield, and that is good. That's one of the biggest plays he's had in a number of weeks now. First to 10. Screen pass. Kyrie Mays will pick up five on that one. Second and five. Hand off to Algernon McDonald. He runs into the line. He'll pick up a couple. He's not happy about it. Third and three. Hand it off to McDonald again, and I don't think he got it. It depends on where they mark it. Nicholas James looking on here. You're going to measure, and it's short just again. Of course, we're going to go for this one. You need to flip the play. Connor Waysom some history. Yeah, they were not blocking on that right side. So we'll keep the ball. QB sneaks. Like, the defense does not block against those unless it's on the goal line. Kind of a cheap tactic, but we'll take it. First and 10. Algernon McDonald up the middle. Algernon McDonald. And there's another big run by him. And they're into the red zone. First and 10 after the two-minute warning. They faked the handoff. Connor Waysom just... Not sure what he was going for there. Maybe just threw it away. Nobody was open. Coopers do get the ball after halftime. 
Hand off here. Algernon McDonald is thrown down. He'll pick up a yard. Clock's going to run. Third and nine. Wayson looking here. Delivers it. Hits Tyree Baltimore. He's going to be a little short. And the Vikings will call a timeout. So fourth and one. What do we want to do here? The offense comes out. If we turn it over here, they have to go the whole length of the field. Let's see what we can come up with. And there's a throw, and there's Curry Mays, and the touchdown. That's what we like to see there. The Coopers extend their lead. Gibson will come out and add to it. 10-3 with a minute six, so the Vikings do have a chance to strike back here. But for now, the home team is in the lead, and Kyrie Mays is waking up this season finally. We'll see Harvin to bring it out. He always gets such good coverage. He'll get up to the 30 almost. First and 10. Quick throw down the middle. Oh, my God. He just... Took our defense out. They'll call it their second time out. They're showing blitz on this one. First and ten. We break back. Oh, they're oh my god. We had a guy there. We hit him hard, but he's gonna get they're gonna hurry it up. I I guess he got a first down. I don't know. They go over to the side. We'll make the tackle there and the injury tackle. Oh, they're, they're just trying to stop the clock now. Come on. I don't even think they had the runoff on that one. Second and eight. 39 seconds left. Oh, no. And Rice burns Doolittle for the touchdown. Oh, man. And there's the Christian Ponder we've ran into the past two years. And in less than 30 seconds, they go down the field. Yeah, he just, he burnt both the corner and the safety. That's an unfortunate turn of events here. I thought a one and six team would uh, put up less resistance. So far, no dice. 10-10 here with 33 seconds. Sidney Rice, yeah, he had some speed on that one. We may let Dontrell Reeve run here. That uh, that scared me a little bit. Reeve will get up to the 20. That'll take us to halftime. We'll get the ball back. Let's go in the locker room. We'll recalculate, recalibrate, and then hopefully come out and play a little bit better. Vikings seem to have the mojo here on the road, and I'm not a fan of that. Coach James is going to have to go in there and redraw something up. It's 10 all. Yeah. All right, start of the second half, and it's just a brand new ball game. We got to pretend it's nil or zero zero, not nil nil. That's my soccer talk there. Nico Carter to bring this one out. Nico, oh Nico, Nico is through. Nico up toward midfield. There's a flag on the play. Don't you call? Oh, and that's gonna add even more on it. We'll take it. We're gonna move up past midfield. We'll be on the 41. What a great run back. But we couldn't have asked for a better start, too. The second half here. Nico Carter pushes through. He'll get the honor of running it there. Seven yards on the carry. Second and three. And that is picked off. And so much for that best start. As we'll get the ball right back to him. That's what happens when I get excited, fans. I wait to be roasted in the comments for that. Connor Waysom drops back and just, just slightly off. Good coverage from the Vikings. First and 10 here. See if our defense can come out and save us from the rabble that we've started. Pressure coming. He's going to run. Oh, Thornton. Antoine Bess had to make the tackle, but Ponder get nine yards. There's nothing worse than picking the right defense and then their quarterback scrambles and still almost gets the first down. Pressure cut. Oh, he was hit on that one. And Doolittle just couldn't come up with it. Third and one. 
My thought process is a run to the left here for Peterson. I called it, and oh, I don't know. We stopped it. Fourth and one. Let's go. He reached. I mean, honestly, eh, that's close. So our defense stands tall, keeps them in the back door. Nico Carter is going to let this one go into the end zone for a touchback. We'll take over at the 20. First and 10, Connor Waysom. Nico pulled down. He'll lose two on that one. And that's Morris. He had the interception earlier, and he's playing tough today. Second and 12. He's got Najee Brand, and Najee Brand's going to get most of it. It's third and inches. It's almost amazing how different the team looks when the offensive line holds. Dontrell Reeve. Dontrell Reeve's going to sneak through, get the first down, and a whole lot more. We've been giving him some runs. We're trying to increase his value, so maybe we could trade him away. First and 10. We'll fake the handoff. Waysom's throwing it, and he hits Baltimore. Did he come down inside? I don't think he did. And they say no. Ah, oh, bang, bang, play. We'll go second and 10 here. And Tyree Baltimore makes the catch. He's across midfield, and it's good for the first down. First and 10, Diggs slides over. they take the handoff again. And that is Heinzman, and that has to be a catch. And that's good for 27 yards. First and 10. They go for the bubble screen. That's good for two. Looked like the Vikings had covered that. I get an eight as we run toward the Cooper Crazies. Nico Carter up the middle. Nico Carter, and he's in there for the touchdown. Big hole opened up. The middle was wide open, and Nico Carter puts the Coopers back up 16 to 10. Sideline was very excited about that. Just it opens up. Great blocking. 65. Who was that? That's Chandler Frederick, the right guard out of Florida. He just followed the play and kept on blocking. And that leads to six and now seven. 17 to 10, 329 left in the third quarter. Cooper Crazy's going crazy. Gibson with the kickoff here. We're gonna go to the left side this time. We'll let Stringfield or whoever this is come out with it, and we'll not be able to tackle him. And finally we'll pull him down, but he's up to the 45. Both kickers or kick returners just having a heck of a day. First and 10, Vikings, and the ball off. We'll pull him down, but Peterson gets seven on the carry. Second and three here. Their tight end kicks out. Jewett comes in and gets the sack. The Sean Jewett, the big man on campus. Big swim move to get through there, too. Threw off one guy and then pulls him down right before the throw. Whoop. Looked like he was falling down and still somehow got a hold of Ponder to pull him. With third and long now. They snap it quickly. Ponder's going to run, but we're out there after him. I had to spy on that play. I had a feeling they were going to do it. Fourth and six, it should force the punt. He tried to go. It was, a, it was a run the whole time, I think. Good deep kick. Nico's going to let it go. This may be a... Uh, I went out right behind the 10. Seven yard lines where they place an amazing punt there by the Vikings. First and 10, trying to get out of our own side. Algernon McDonald spins around. He'll get... No, he'll lose a yard. What a terrible mark by the officiating crew. Trying to get some yardage here, and it's just not working. There's McDonald again. He'll get a few on that one. Four yards. Third and long, though. Third and seven. They back off the coverage. 
Good throw. Tyree Baltimore on the extension. He'll make the catch, and it's good for the first down. What a catch. First and 10. McDonald looking. McDonald's still running. McDonald. Good little moves there. He'll get nine yards on the carry. Gonna take us to the fourth quarter. 17 10. Cooper's leading here at home. Play a chance that they can keep the ball. Dontrell Reeve. He'll reach, and they're gonna give him the first down. First 10. And McDonald has to go up through the middle. And he'll get two yards. He, that play was blown up. He was supposed to have went left. He had to go the other way. And he makes something, not much, but something out of nothing. They get an eight. On her way, some quick throw. Oh, and again, it's picked off by Morris. I don't even see how he jumped through him to get that. Morris has been Johnny on the spot today for the Vikings defense. His second interception. I want to see a replay of this. I'm pretty sure he just melds through him T-1000 style. Yeah. Ah. 7.50 left in the game. Now we're on the defensive skit. Got to keep the Vikings from tying this up. Oh, and there we go. Brandon Spikes. Traded for him in the offseason. Watch that one down. Second down. Second and 10. Pressure coming. They hand it off. That's a good run. We were fooled on that one. Adrian Peterson picks up the first down. They're up to the 30. First and 10. I feel like it's another run. It is. We had him, but he still gets away, and he'll get a couple yards. Peterson's just on a whole different level of running back. Second and eight. They spread out. They go for a screen. It's not going to work out. Third down. I think they're, they'll give him the catch, but I don't think he got a lot on it. Two yards. Bunch up here in the middle. Pressure. Oh, they got the throw. Come on, guys. Uh, that was Nika or Tomas Franklin on the tackle. They're in the red zone now. First and ten. And they're gonna hit Percy Harvin, and that's gonna be an easy touchdown. And the Vikings are gonna tie this one up. And for a one-win team, they are not playing like it. Guess the good thing is, is we'll get the ball, we'll have a chance to waste time. But I thought the team would play a little bit better today. The extra point's good. We're all square at 17 with 5.32 left in the game. Vikings always play us tough for some reason. I don't even think the Vikings are like... They could be a rival now. I mean, just the way these games go. Nico Carter to take this one. Nico bounces around. He'll get up to the 26. First and 10. The hand off the Reeve. Oh, that's got to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. We'll take the 15 yards there. First down. Again, we are going to let some of the clock run down. Fake the hand off there. That's a catch by Najee Brand. Oh, I kind of didn't want him to go out of bounds, but he does. First down, though. First and 10. Oh, my God, Tyree Baltimore got blown up on that. Oh, the guy that tackled him got injured. Second and 10. At the wide open, Najee Brand. Good spin move. He'll get the first down, and the clock's going to run some more. Should be able to take it below four minutes here. First and 10. The draw run up the middle. Algernon McDonald. Algernon McDonald. Oh, my God, he almost broke through. He's up to the 12-yard line. Good tough run by him. Wind up in the Wildcat here. Algernon McDonald. Maze coming around. They fake the handoff. McDonald keeps it. He'll get tackled. 
But the clock's going to run below three minutes now. Second and 11. Glass goes in motion. It's a handoff. McDonald tries to get around the edge. He does not. He'll get a yard. And run us down close to the two-minute warning. Third and 10. Third and 10. Waysome. Oh, it's almost picked off. We'll have to settle for a field goal. Tried to force it in there to Kyrie Mays. I think if you'd have thrown it a second earlier, you'd have had it. 29-yard field goal. This should be a cakewalk for Hunter Gibson. He puts it up. It's through. So defense has got two minutes to do their job. And thus far today, they've not really. It's been wishy-washy. Big deep kick here. Will they bring it out? Morris Nils. They'll run a play and they get the two minute warning timeout. And then they'll have their allotment of three timeouts. They hand it off. PJ Strong's back there. Makes the tackle. We'll go to the two minute warning. Everybody getting some water and getting good to go. Second and 11 here. Pressure on Ponder. Pressure is coming and he's going to go down and back behind the 10. And it's going to be third and 22. They go hurry up, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. And the pressure coming again. They're going to get it in the end zone. They call a timeout. They're on the one. And they have to go for it here. I mean, this is this is a little crazy here. Fourth and 29. Pressure is coming. They get it off, but there's no, he drops it. And we'll take over first to go. And we're obviously going to probably be able to walk in for a touchdown here. And still the deal. First to go, we'll give it to Dontrell Reeve, and he will push in, and that's good, and that's your game. The Vikings valued effort, but the defense of the Coopers, I demasculated them, and they showed up and showed me who was boss. Hunter Gibson chips that one in, 27-17, and barring nothing crazy, that should be the way the game ends. And that'll be your ball game. Connor Wason will kneel on it. The clock runs out. Nicholas James out to congratulate. Well, not congratulate, but shake the hands of the Vikings coach. Vikings just having a rough season. They played strong for three quarters of this game. Deshaun Jewett, your player of the game, three tackles, two of them being a sack. That just shows you what kind of defensive slugfest this was. But at the end, the Coopers hold on and win this one. Coach James really putting himself on a platform, trying to get that elusive coach of the year again. Vikings 17, Coopers here at home, beat them by 10, 27-17. Let's be honest, I don't think the stats are going to be that good today. Connor Waysom, 15 for 23, 165 yards. One touchdown, two interceptions. We just cannot get his... This game is very different than NCAA in the fact that like it's almost like quarterbacks just cannot have good games. It's just there's always going to be interceptions. Rushing Algernon McDonald, 54 yards on 14 carries. No touchdowns. Dontrell Reef and Nico Carter do get to run it in. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to work on that. Receiving Tyree Baltimore, Najee Brand, and Hayes all over 40 yards. I mean, that's nothing to brag. Kyrie Mays did have a touchdown, so it's good to see him 10 yards in average and 12.2 on Najee Brand. Najee Brand's a really good rookie. I do like Tyree Baltimore and Brand. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with Mays. Heinzman had a big catch. He's really come along the last three, four games or so. Defensively, just a lot of tackles out there today. Uh, tackles for loss to Sean Jewett. The two sacks is what leads the team. A.C. Cobbs, Kevin Ramsey, Anderson, and Darian Holloway out of Texas State. All having um, sacks. No interceptions today or fumbles. Hunter Gibson, two for two on kicking field goals. And I think he hit all three extra points as well. 
And for punting, Brendan Mangley, one punt, 52 yards. Can't argue against that. Kick returning, Nico Carter averaging 30.5 on the kick return, only 9.5 on the punting. All right, looks like we step into our bye week at 6-3. and three. And I don't think there's anything I really want to do to the team. There's no amazing free agents on the market. I did look at some of these. This Terrence Newman, even though he's 34 years old, been in the league 10 years. But other than that, I just don't think we need anything. I did think about Chinko uh, as well as a tight end. But um, Frederick Benson, he played for the uh, Bengals, I believe. Brandon Jacob. Matt Hasselbeck. Bring him in as a backup. Uh, instead of uh, Stevie Myers. But yeah, there's just nothing good. So I think I'll go Lode Holt. What a last name. Good Lord. Of all of all the names they throw in here, that's the ones they put. Terrence McGee. Quantavius Bledsoe. Man, Tank Johnson. That's a, that's a hell of a name. All right, taking a look at the NFL standings. We in the power rankings are the sixth best team in the league. I don't know about that. The Raiders and Rams, of course it's the Rams, seem to be the best two teams in the league. So that's a little bit of crazy. Let's take a look in our our, our conference. Rams, Bears, Falcons, and then the Coops. That's a little cattywampus. And then if we get more specific into our own division, uh, wow, the Eagles on the bye week, they've won five straight. And uh, so it's no easy path to the playoffs. I think we will have to pay, play the Eagles later on in the season again. Uh, it's probably going to come down to either one of us because uh, they are just playing well. And that brings us to this week's game. It's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs coming on the road, taking on the Bourbon City Coopers. And now I'm a little bit interested to know when our, what our future schedule is. So at the Cowboys, Week 12 versus the Bears, Chargers. Okay, at the Eagles in Week 15. And then, uh, so we got the Cowboys left twice. So we got to play them. They're in our division. And then we've got the Eagles. And that'd be a big game. Oh my God, we still have the Raiders and the Bears. We got a tough schedule this season. We already played the Rams and lost to them in overtime. We did. We do have some bad losses. Losing to a three and six Packers first game of the season was not good. Buccaneers uh, is not good. The Rams is it's an okay loss. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to play against, like, Chiefs and Cowboys. Three and four win teams should be winning. The Bears is going to be a tough game. Cowboys is a Thursday night, so we're on a short rest after this next game. Or, like, two days rest, and then we got to get ready for the Bears. That's going to be a really, really tough game. And then there's the end of our season. So it's no easy path if we're going to try to make the playoffs this season. But, anyways, that is the end of the episode. I hope you all have hit the like button. I hope you all appreciate the episode. If you have any comments or feedback, like always, let me know. We almost got Tyree Baltimore killed today doing the screen passes you all wanted, but instead he heard the defender trying to tackle him. But we are now 6-3. and three. We've bounced back after being about a 500 team. Uh, the future is bright for us. Another home game. We've got to take on the Chiefs and see what happens. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions, and I'll see you next time. Let's go, Coops. Check out some more of my content here. I hope you enjoy that as well, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.